With the recent Nintendo Direct, we were absolutely blessed with some fan favorite games that this Nintendo Direct was absolutely for everyone. One of my favorite games that got revealed was Mario Luigi's Brothership because we haven't seen a brand new title in 9 years. But I feel like within that trailer, there is something hinting towards something else for the future of Mario entirely. Let's discuss. How's it going to all my Mario fans out there? My name is Acenator, and I want to welcome you to the channel. And I just want to say thank you guys so much for clicking on this video. And in today's video, I have a crazy theory. And you guys know me if you know my Mario Kart videos. I love making these theory videos for you guys. Because you know what? They could come true. They could not come true. Who even knows at this point? You know, I've had some pretty outstanding theories that have came true within the past. So why not make another one just for fun? So let's dive in and discuss what my crazy theory is this time. So I'm pretty sure we can all take away one thing from that trailer. And that is going to be that Mario and Luigi Brothership looks absolutely incredible between the art style with the shell shading with the animations how much you know reactions and enjoyment all the characters have within that game itself you know this game is just still so weird to me that it actually exists and i talked about that in the last video if you guys want to go check out that last video you know i'll put a card up here somewhere if i forget if not it's just the least video that i posted here on the channel but my god does this game look absolutely incredible and i really cannot wait to play it four days after my birthday what a nice birthday gift for me that i cannot wait to receive on that day but i feel like this trailer has something hinting towards something and that is going to be the direction and also possibly the art style for the next mario kart title let me dive in a little bit farther now it's always super fun to sit here and speculate with you guys but this is just something to not take too seriously but we may have some sort of direction as to where the next mario kart is gonna go you know mario kart x mario kart 9 mario kart generations mario kart tour 2 i don't even know what it's gonna be called at this point i highly doubt it's gonna be mario kart tour 2 but you know this isn't going to be referring to any sort of game modes, you know, what tracks or characters we're going to be playing as, but I feel like with the recent reveal of some of the past Mario Kart titles, sorry, Mario titles, including Mario Luigi's Brothership, could be hinting towards something for the next Mario Kart game. And personally for me, I think it's going to be the direction and art style is going to be drastically different from the previous Mario Kart titles. So if we look at the first half of the Booster Course Pass, we can kind of see that Mario Kart 8 Deluxe's Booster Course Pass for the first half, you know, the trucks looked kind of pastel-y, cartoony, and you know, kind of Tory-ish, if you guys know what I mean. Now, I didn't really mind that change. I thought that's where they were gonna go, but with community feedback saying that these tracks didn't look as good as the base game, I felt like obviously they could have actually delete the tracks and then redo the tracks, so that's why they're still in here. But I feel like with the each with each wave of the booster course pass, the graphics have gotten more on par with Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. And you know, we have tracks now in the game like Snatch Bowser's Castle 3 and DK Mountain and even Wii Rainbow Road that look just like they belong in the base game. But if we zoom in a little bit, I feel like that's where, you know, Nintendo was thinking about going. Obviously, you know, not their best work when it comes to graphics, but I feel like, you know, that's just a stepping stone for something that we could see within the next Mario Kart title. Alrighty, so now I'm going to dive in a little bit deeper as to what you guys saw on the thumbnail. And that is going to be, you know, how Mario Luigi does really have an influence on the next Mario Kart title. Now, I'm not saying that it's going to have the same sort of art style and direction and everything of Mario Luigi's Brothership. But if you look a little bit deeper, you know, we could see that after nine years, you know, Nintendo has been cooking something in the oven and... Now we're here, nine years later, with Brothership. You know, if you look at the previous Mario Luigi titles, Superstar Saga had an identity of its own. Then we look at Partners of Time and Battleship. They had an identity of their own. Then Dream Team and Paper Jam. Paper Jam was a little bit of a weird one, but, you know, Paper Jam and Dream Team have an identity of their own. You know, we also look at the remasters. They had an identity of their own. And now if you look at the Mario Kart, you know, title that is out currently that's been out for 10 years you know we could look at the same exact thing each mario kart had an identity 
of themselves and hopefully that does make a little bit of sense to you guys you know the only drastic difference that we've seen was from super mario kart to mario kart 64 and mario kart 64 to double dash and everything after that just kind of looks the same but visually enhanced and we really haven't had a change of art style and a change of direction with mario kart and you know if we look at what Nintendo has done with nine years, obviously they didn't make the game with nine years, but if we take nine years and we apply it to something like Mario Kart, I feel like it's going to be a drastic jump as to what we're not used to for the next Mario Kart title, and if we look at the booster course pass side of things, you know, I just hope that, you know, whatever the next Mario Kart title is called, we're going to call it Mario Kart Ace because that's the name of this channel and that's what we're calling the next Mario Kart today, let's hope that Mario Kart Ace does look Visually stunning, and it's not going to be a direct counterpart to Mario Kart 8 that has been out for 10 years. Hopefully something new comes out of it. So the last portion of this video is going to be me discussing, you know, how it all ties in together. And what I think this game, Mario Kart Ace, is what we're going to call the next Mario Kart title because we don't have an official Mario Kart title. What I think Mario Kart Ace is going to actually be like is a 3D Mario Wonder but, you know, the graphics of it are going to be insane. And, you know, if we look at the past Mario, you know, 2D side-scrolling Marios, you know, Mario Wonder has an identity of its own. The new games have, obviously, an identity of their own. Now, obviously, if we keep on going all the way back, we can, you know, make identities of their own sort of videos if we really wanted to or topics to talk about. But I just want to talk about the recent titles. And then, you know, that was some time apart. Same thing with Mario and Luigi, like I talked about earlier. They were drastically apart from each other. And the art style for Brothership looks absolutely incredible. And it's completely different than Dream Team and Paper Jam. And now if we look at the Booster Course Pass, you know, the first half of it, it looked drastically different than the base game of Mario Kart 8 Deluxe tracks. And everything I just feel like for Mario Kart Ace is going to to look drastically different than Mario Kart 8. Now granted, it's not gonna look something like, you know, GTA 6 or Dead Island 2 or the next Call of Duty game. It's not gonna look anything crazy like that. You know, it's going to still have that Mario feel to it, but I just feel like it's going to absolutely, you know, be completely different than what we're used to. And I feel like with each reveal of the new Mario, you know, games that have been coming out recently, they all look drastically different from what they have been like X amount of years ago. So let me know if you guys like that theory. And that's gonna do it for today's video, guys. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. And as always, you know, thank you guys so much for the recent support on the comeback video for this channel. I have a little bit nervous making it, but you know, we are here. You know, this is the Mario channel after all. You guys like it, you guys enjoy what I do. So I'm gonna keep on putting out only Mario content as of me for the time being. So with that out of the way, I just want to say thank you guys so much. If you guys did enjoy the video, smash that thumbs up button. Also, if you guys want to share this with a friend and tell them, you know, this could be a hint towards the next Mario Kart title and share them this video. Also, if you guys want to stay up to date with anything Mario related or any sort of discussions, theories, news, anything with the red plumber, subscribe to the channel if you guys do want more. Thank you guys so much. This is Ace signing off. Stay healthy, stay clean. Bye.